Hey there, I thought I'd bring you outside. It is November, it has been cold, it has been raining. I live in Southern Ohio and you never know what the weather's gonna be. We're supposed to have a super, super, super cold winter this year. Um, my husband's been burning all the wood in the house and the wood burning stove. And anyway, I like to come out here and burn my trash and just have a bonfire when it's, when it's nice out. So I thought I'd bring you along today just to give you a different view. And I wanted to talk about millionaire mindset. And if you, your aspirations aren't to become a millionaire, then how about success mindset, okay? Whatever that thing is that you're striving for, this is the mindset you have to have. And I like to call it millionaire mindset because it's like the epitome. It's like the impossible, but it's achievable, if that makes sense. And I wanted to start out with a story. It, it just made me, as I was putting these three different tips together, I like to do three to five tips because then you can remember them. I don't want to overwhelm you with a book, but I remember years ago when I was homeschooling my two youngest daughters, we used to go skiing. We went skiing probably for a good five years. We went every year and uh, we even bought our own skis, snowboards and all that stuff. And I remember the first time that we went. Now here I am, um, I'm going to say I was in my 40s when, when they were old enough to ski. And I remember falling constantly. I had to go on the bunny hills and I'd fall. I'd fall getting on the, the lift. I'd fall getting off the lift. I'd fall coming down the hill. I, I couldn't stop myself. So I'd just like crash and just fall. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get this. And that whole season, that first season, that's kind of what I kept doing. I, I got better because I kept doing it. I jumped in and, and, and kept getting better, but I decided going into the second year, I knew that this is something the girls enjoyed doing. It was kind of like our PE time. And I thought, okay, I gotta get better at this. So I took the time to learn the skills. And I even took the time to lose weight, to get in shape. Because part of my problem was I wasn't in good enough shape. You really have to, you know, physically be in somewhat shape. I was in really bad shape. So I took the time to get in better shape physically. I and my second year was phenomenal. I, I still think back on that, that that was probably the best year I ever had because I took the time to really learn the skills. And what I, what I wanna share, how that relates to a millionaire mindset is sometimes we jump in and there's nothing wrong with that, but we don't jump in with the equipment that we need or with the skills that we need and we just start meandering all over the place and that's why a lot of times things take longer. Um, and I still don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's great that people just jump in and want to do things but somewhere along the line you want to start learning those skills that you need so that you're you're um, you have the right direction if that makes sense so a millionaire mindset does that they're very disciplined um, very focused and directed if that makes sense and they know what they're trying to achieve and that's what you have to do and like i said going into my second year that is the mindset i had and i was very very successful now did i go off and you know, jump off of big hills and you know, do flips in the air. No, that wasn't my goal. <laughs> my goal was just to have fun and be in shape. But the point is you have to have a plan and you have to be focused. I don't know why, oh, another cat. And even here, okay, just now before I did this little video, I was trying to light my fire um, behind me and I grabbed one of the lighters and it stopped working. My first impulse was like, crap, I'm just not gonna have a fire because I had to walk all the way back to the house, which is pretty pretty walk, long walk. And I thought, okay, you're talking about millionaire mindset, go get one that works and come back. And I gotta show you something. This, my husband's been hiding this, but this one has a wind resistant lighter on it and it kind of comes out like a torch. Oh, and now it's not gonna work. Ah, I might've broken it. There it is, see that? It's like a torch. So if you ever wanna get me a gift, um, a lighter that has the wind resistant uh, choice on it that comes out like a torch, perfect gift. And I like red. All right, number two, don't settle. And I'm gonna tell you a story about this. And this is, this one to me is like the epitome is so important. I remember, oh bro, it's probably been, I was in my, I was in my early 50s. And after all those years, I finally, was disciplined enough to lose weight. I mean, I was disciplined. I did everything that I knew I should have been doing for years. I always used my kids as an excuse, spouse, everybody else, there was an excuse why I never lost my baby fat from my kids. And 
you know, I was really excited because I thought, wow, you know, I, I accomplished this. And everybody would ask me, all my friends that were my age, especially, like, what did you do? And I just expected them to say, what did you do? And I'm going to do it too. And I would share. And I'll never forget one person came up to me and said, eh, I'm happy where I'm at. Now, I thought, there's nothing wrong with being happy with where you are because we should be content, but don't settle. Don't, I, I sometimes we, we, we settle for where we're at and we, we have that um, contemplation that we just um, are content and there's nothing wrong with that, but isn't it better to say, okay, I'm happy where I'm at, but I can have more. I can strive for more. So don't settle just because you're happy and just because everything is okay, there's nothing wrong with wanting more. And the neat thing about having that kind of attitude is yeah, you can make millions, but then you're going to be okay if you lose it all too. And that's good. But don't just settle. Don't don't just say, you know, I don't want anything more. I, I just think that life has so much to offer. And again, it doesn't have to be about making millions. It can be about anything that deep in your heart, you know that there's something there that you want, but you've just kind of put it aside because you feel like maybe you're not important enough or you know maybe there, you have a family to take care of or whatever, but you have the time and you can not settle for what you have and go for more if that makes sense so that's number two and my last one this one does have to do with those of you that are, are trying to build a business when we build a business um, you've been taught to you know write down your goals and your dreams and your aspirations and all that and a lot of people turn that into a financial goal and i know i call this millionaire mindset but I mean millionaire, like, you know, the ultimate mindset. But it's when you start striving just to make money, money is nothing but paper. It's fiat, if you think about it. And it's becoming invisible um, with Bitcoin. It's becoming numbers. So it's really just um, something somebody created that really has no value except the value we put on it. Does that make sense? So if you're striving just for that, and there's nothing behind that, then I think you're gonna be disappointed. Put something tangible behind that money. Now, again, it's okay to have these goals financially, but what are you going to do with it? What What is your life going to be when you do have that income? And focus more on that. And one of the things I did early on in my business, which was recommended to me by a mentor, and I call my mentors those five people that I've chosen to watch and, um, see how they become successful and learn from them. But one of the things I'd learned was that you should find somebody to give your money to, like find somebody to tithe to. 10% is usually what a tithe is. And uh, what I've done is I set up a second bank account and all the money that I earn from my business funnels into that account. And once a month when I get my statement, all my deposits, I take 10%. I give it to a group called Shelter Care. And Shelter Care, I took my time to find the group that meant something to me. I was 16 when I had my first child and I knew that I was very blessed. My parents, um, you know, they didn't kick me out. They supported me, they loved me and all of that. I mean, that's a whole nother story, but I know that there's girls that that happens to and they have no support and they do end up choosing maybe to get an abortion because they feel like they have no option. And so this, this group, what they've done is they bought a house and it's up in northern part of Ohio. And they open it up to girls between 14 and 22. And they allow them to come there and have their baby. And they help them finish high school if they're young. Um, they also, they're allowed to stay up to three years. That's the most time. But they teach them how to take care of their child, how to be a mom, how to get a job, you know, how to take care of themselves. Sometimes, you know, at that age, you're just learning how to leave home and become an adult. And now you have a child and it is hard, especially if you have nobody to support you. So I was just, my goal someday is to help them buy more houses and have them across the country. That's my ultimate millionaire mindset goal. But right now I take 10% of all my earnings from this job and that's where I give it. And I'm so excited to see the number get higher and higher. So it's not about, oh, look what I made. It's more about, wow, look what I can give. And it really is exciting. So I really recommend, I don't care if you're making $20 a month, but find some organization that you have a passion for. And usually 
it'll go back to something that's happened in your own life. Um, that's why bad things happen, so that we can turn around and, and understand and help others in the same situation. But give. Make sure you give, and I can't stress that enough either. So you have three tips for your millionaire mindset. Jump in, but learn the skills. Take the time to discipline yourself to learn those skills. Be, be focused, okay? Number two, don't settle for what you have now. Don't be afraid or think it's a bad thing because you want more. It isn't because you don't like what you have. It's just that you want more, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, God created this earth for us, and, and there's so many beautiful places to go, so many things to see and people to help and visit. I mean, why wouldn't you want more than what you have? And it's okay to love what you have as well. And then number three, give now. Don't wait until you're making a lot of money. That makes no sense. 10% is 10%. So if you give 10% on $20 or 10% on 2 million, 10% is 10%. So I think it's going to help you be more motivated and more excited when you write that check and you give it to somebody that you have a passion for that you want to help. So hopefully those are three things that will keep you motivated in whatever your endeavor is. Um, I know I talk a lot about online business and things like that, but I think this will help you no matter what you're striving for. Um, you know, get in there, jump in, get busy, and um, write those three things down. All right, I'll see you on the next video.